right. Hey, everybody. We're on the fucking show, right? This is so cool. On a Monday, en plus. It's so nice just to be out of the house on a school night. Isn't it? How many of you have kids? Clap if you have kids. All right. <laughs> Look at that lack of enthusiasm. That's great. I have three kids, so it's nice just to not be with them right now. Because <laughs> it's June. You know what's happening in June, right? In two weeks, they're fucking closing the school. I don't know if you heard about this. We didn't vote for it. You could be sure of that. It's the worst idea ever. See, we live in Canada. Ah, plus, tabarnak, we just got through the worst winter ever, right? <laughs> Every day this winter was either a blizzard or it was minus, like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and then finally, we get some nice weather and you're like, oh, fuck, oh, this is great. I can go play golf today. This is, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> what happened? And then, two and a half month, Seven day a week, 24 hour a day, we're stuck with these little fuck face in our house. <laughs> with all their needs and shit. <laughs> Who decide this? It's horrible, I need my kid to go to school. Just so I can love them again. <laughs> Here, take this bag of food and get the fuck out. <laughs> Daddy need a nap. And don't ever put a peanut in their bag of food, either. <laughs> Holy shit! Apparently, their friend explode if they see a peanut. <laughs> I don't know when this happened. What's, what's your name, sir? Frank. Frank? How old are you, Frank? 50. Okay, so I'm 42. Let's tell some of these younger people here, Frank. How many kids in your elementary school were allergic to peanuts? Exactly! None! What the fuck happened? <laughs> your generation that start all this shit. I don't know when the fuck we started letting cousins get married, Frank, to have these defective kids. But now it's become the biggest rule in the school, right? It's the biggest, like they crack down on smoking in Canada, right? But I can still smoke a cigarette 10 meter from the kid's school. But I have to leave the neighborhood to eat a fucking Snickers bar. Malade, see. And here's the thing, at our school, we only have one kid. One fucking kid allergic to peanut. Fucking Tyler, douchebag. Ugh. Make me sick. One kid, but all 600 kids have to suffer because of this genetic weirdo. Every year, I'm like, I see this is a school. It's a school. You're supposed to teach people thing, right? How about on day one of school, you teach fucking Tyler not to eat peanuts. <laughs> Why does everybody have to suffer? If Tyler get cancer, is everybody getting chemotherapy? <laughs> All right. <laughs> the one guy that like cancer jokes, that's great. Fucking <laughs> n'aime pas de bon sens. So every morning though, like I'm, I bitch about Tyler on stage, but when I'm at home, I'm always nice. I follow the rule, right? And when I'm at the PTA, I see I'm super sympathetic. I'm like, see Tyler's mom, I'm like, hey, fucking. <laughs> how's, how's Tyler? Jeez, must be rough. I've got my EpiPen right here, ready. <laughs> Poor little guy. But every morning when I'm making the kid lunch and I have those six pieces of bread on the counter, I see I'm tempted, let's be honest, seven o'clock in the morning when it's lunch making time, <laughs> Derek the alcoholic comedian is not having the funnest hour of his day. <laughs> just, just looking at these six naked pieces of bread, I'm like, ah, six, ça serait facile, just schlock, 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 man, peanut butter, go ahead. But no, every day I'm like, okay, so I have one kid that don't like ham, and the other one don't like sliced turkey, and one of them says she's allergic to mustard, but I know she's fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> and then ones don't like mayo. I'm like, fuck, I still, what am I, a ninja? I don't remember all this shit. So every morning I'm confused and I'm just fucking, I just throw all the supply in one bag, and I'm like, just go meet your sister for lunch. And then last year, I discovered that peanut isn't the only thing. Now that it's getting worse, Frank. 
Every year I see there's a new genetic freak coming out. And it's not like in the movie, every year like there's mutant. No, our fucking mutant are losers. Because last year my little one, she's grade one. She, that's what we call her, <laughs> grade one. She came home with a letter last year saying that there was a kid allergic to gluten. And at first I was like, well, I don't even know what's that, so. Pretty sure I don't bake with it. What the fuck is that? Sound like a chemical. Turn out, gluten, it's flour and bread. How did you even make it to grade one, you fucking weirdo? Bread is the staple of human life on earth for the last 15,000 years, I see. Sorry, unless you're religious, 6,000 years. Sorry, sorry. Still a long time. This dickhead get a tummy ache? Suck a dick, Dylan. Turn out Betty Crocker, though, make a gluten-free cake. I'm like, fucking Betty, staying with the time. <laughs> and then I get it home, I'm all excited. See, look, I found the solution for stupid Dylan. <laughs> and Betty and the whole Crocker gang, they only need me to add one ingredient to the fucking sawdust, which is probably what's in the gluten-free cake. <laughs> one thing, that's all they need me to add to the stupid wood chips to make the gluten-free cake. <laughs> Turn out there's a kid in the class allergic to that thing, fucking eggs. <laughs> I'm like, how are you allergic to eggs, Rebecca? Tabarnak, seven years ago, you were an egg. <laughs> Do you lick yourself and get a rash, you fucking weird kid? Hey, thank you very much, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the show. Happy Monday.